Hey guys, welcome to SoCraftastic. Today is another back to school DIY. I am so excited, especially because I'm doing duct tape. It's been forever and a day since the last duct tape tutorial. Oh, you could not hear over that. It's a really awesome pencil pouch with a zipper. If any of you are new here and you like arts, crafts, DIYs, and you never want to miss one of my videos, click the red subscribe button to become part of the family. I would love to have you. And it would be awesome if you guys could click the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Oh, and if you're not caught up with my most recent videos, I just posted a DIY slimy school supply video last week and a wreck this journal the video before that I'll link those below along with my entire duct tape playlist because I've done a lot of duct tape videos over the years I forgot to show you the mermaid one even though you probably saw it in the very beginning now it's time to get into the tutorial let's go to make this pencil pouch I'm using duct tape an exacto knife a colored zipper a 12 inch ruler and a cutting board, which I purchased from Walmart. I'm using a seven inch or 18 centimeter zipper, as you could see on the package. If you want a longer pencil pouch, you'll need a longer zipper, of course. If you only have a long zipper and you need to cut it down, just pause the screen to look at these instructions. You can sew across a few times and shorten it. My zipper is all set to go as is. I'm grabbing a patterned roll of duct tape. You can use any color you want. You could use a solid. You could just use one color for the entire pencil pouch. Anyway, I put down a piece that is just a couple inches longer than the zipper. And the zipper, even though it's seven inches on the package, it's closer to nine with the excess fabric that hangs over, as you can see. So I'm making a cut with the X-Acto knife at the nine inch line, and this is the length of the pencil pouch. I'm trimming down the other side just to make it nice and straight, and then I'm going to determine the width of the pencil pouch, or the height, I should say. P.S. If you don't have a zipper or you don't want to use one, I did a video a couple years back on how to make a pencil pouch kind of like this, but with a Ziploc bag instead. So if you want to see that, I will link it below along with my entire duct tape playlist. Getting back to this video, take a second piece of duct tape and just overlap it a tiny bit over the first one. You'll want this to be the exact same length, so about 9 inches is what I'm doing. Trim off the ends again and later you'll see that you can do this trimming all at once, but right now I just haven't been duct taping for a while, so I just cut them all separately. It doesn't matter what you do, but it's easier if you wait. If you have a pencil pouch at home to use for reference that you kind of want to mimic, then that'll make this a little bit easier. I have this one, which I purchased. I don't remember where I got this one. Office Depot, Office Max, maybe? As you can see, the two pieces of tape are going to be a tiny bit shorter than the pencil pouch here, so I want to make it longer, actually. I'm going to add a third piece of duct tape, again, slightly overlapping, and if you have a pattern like me, you can try your best to line it up. You might waste a little tape, but it's totally worth it to get a cool look. And you can, of course, trim down the pieces of tape, so if you don't want it to be quite three pieces high, then you can trim that off at the bottom a little bit like I've done here. And this is going to be the height of my pencil pouch. Carefully peel up all three pieces. You don't want them to come apart. If they do, just kind of stick them back together. This was really stuck on, so take your time. So after I peeled that up, I flipped it over to the sticky side, so that's facing up. And I'm going to cover that entire side with tape in a second. But first, what you want to do is take the zipper and place that on the very top piece of tape. And then I'm flipping it just to see how much of the zipper I've covered and I didn't think that I covered enough so I just went ahead and restuck it on. I do a lot of readjusting in this video. Now it's more to my liking so I'm going to flip it back over and I'm taking a white roll of duct tape at this point. I'm putting a piece and flattening it as smooth as possible. This is another thing you really want to take your time with so you don't get bubbles and creases in the tape. When you're cutting this, don't worry about getting it straight. We're gonna cut them all at once. So I'm putting a second piece here, overlapping it slightly so you can't see any stickiness. And I'm also doing a third piece, which is going to hang over, but don't worry about that. Now, all three pieces of white are on, as you can see, and if you only have one color of duct tape to work with, that's totally fine. You can make the outside and inside of the pouch the same color. Flip that entire sheet over, and now you wanna trim off 
all of the excess sticky that is hanging over. You can use an X-Acto blade for this, but I find it a lot easier to just use non-stick scissors instead and trim it all off. The first half of the pouch is complete. We're gonna repeat those steps for the second half, which I'm gonna show you here. So I'm taking the pattern tape again, and I've laid down three strips the exact same way, so nine inches across and how many inches is it high? Measurements don't matter too much. It's all up to the size that you want, but I will put them on the screen in inches and centimeters just to let you know the height. This is what I was talking about with trimming it all at once. So, so I'm trimming the sides down and the bottom to make it the same width and height as the first panel. Just getting the bottom here and it should be about the same now. Carefully peel that entire three piece section up and flip it over. Again, we're going to cover that entire piece with the second color of duct tape. But before we do that, again, attach that to the zipper. Make sure that the back of the zipper is with the inside color of the pouch. So the front of the zipper should be, of course, with the pattern that you want facing everyone that you want the world to see. Again, for some reason, I can't do this on the back, so I always flip it over to get it stuck on better and more even. I want it to be pretty close to the actual zipper and cover as much fabric as possible. Now that is complete and I'm just working on covering this as you guys already knew. One strip, two strips, and three strips. And then I am, of course, just going to carefully trim away the excess that hangs over. Now we have both halves of the pencil pouch and it's time to get sticking them together. I have constructed a little piece that is five inches and put another five inch strip on the back to create a small sheet and I trim that in half. Then I put two more five inch strips down and trim those in half, but I didn't put tape on the back so they are sticky. So you'll have two pieces that are not sticky and four pieces with sticky on the back. With one of the double-sided half pieces, go ahead and fold that in half to make it even thinner. And then you're going to grab the panel of the pencil pouch, just take whichever one you want, and we're going to connect that. So line up the edges like I've done here and make sure that the kind of angled piece that's folded, so the fold line should be facing the inside of the pouch. Then grab one of those sticky pieces and you're going to stick it down and then fold it over so it attaches this folded piece to the pouch. After attaching that piece, you'll want to move on to the other side and attach another piece. I stuck that on the exact same way and now I'm going to work on closing the sides. So you're going to do the exact same thing. Both folded pieces are stuck down so now I'm going to work on the second side and seal the pouch. Here I have attached another little sticky piece and I'm pressing down at the fold to make it lie flat and then I am going to fold the sticky piece over to the front of the pouch or the back of the pouch, whatever you want to call it, like this. And if any hangs over, you can of course trim it away. By the way, these steps that I'm showing you right now for the sides are a little bit advanced. They're easy enough to follow, but if you want something even easier and less time consuming, wait until I show you the other pouch with the uh, kind of mermaid scale tape and that'll be something really basic. So now one side is completely sealed and you're just going to repeat the same thing with the other side, which I've already done here. Now let's work on sealing those two holes at the top. At the end of the zipper, like I mentioned, there's some excess fabric. I wanted to keep that on for more reinforcement, but I don't want pencils to be able to come out of the holes. Oh, okay, I guess actually before we do that, I'm going to seal the bottom of the pencil pouch. And with this, you're just going to use a strip that's the exact same length and put half of it on the front and then fold it over onto the back. It's really important that your bottom is secure, so if you want to add another larger piece of tape and fold it over so you have double reinforcement and double layers of tape at the bottom, I would definitely recommend that. But just for now, to make it look kind of cuter with the littler piece, I'm going to leave it like this. Now let's go up to the top and seal those holes. Here I just have a very thin scrap of tape and I'm going to fold it over the hole basically from the front to the back. Now to make it look better, you can peel up a little bit of tape from the side and tuck the scrap piece under so you can't see the seam. This is optional if you're a beginner and this makes no sense to you, don't worry about it, but it should be easy enough. So this will make it look a lot more finished and prevent things from falling out of the pouch. 
Here's a look at the inside with the folded pieces attached and the bottom completely sealed. Let's do a zip test to make sure it works, and it does. Here's an alternative way to seal the sides and bottom. It's a lot easier and less time consuming, less tape is used. I made this pencil pouch the exact same way, but instead of doing those folded panels inside, I'm just gonna start by working on sealing the holes at the top with the scraps. Fold those over both sides at the top on either side of the zipper. then move on to sealing the bottom in this case I decided to do. It doesn't matter if you do the bottom or the sides first, but I figured doing the bottom first will allow the side pieces of tape to give it more stability. After sealing the bottom like I've done here, it should look kind of like a tube so you can see through it because the sides are not attached yet. So let's get to that. I have two pieces that are about five inches. It's the same measurements as last time, but there isn't going to be that folded inside panel. So put one piece on the left side and one piece on the right side. Then flip the pouch over and of course, get rid of the stickiness by just folding it down. I did mine really quickly, so don't worry, I actually fixed it off camera to make it look a little bit more even and not creased, but I just wanted to show you guys. Now let's see what these pencil pouches can hold. I have 24 Sharpies here. First, let's put them in the pouch with the extended sides. It does fit all 24, but you wanna make sure that the caps are alternating so they aren't all facing the same direction. It really helps them fit. And there's probably space for a couple more if you really wanted to stuff it, but I think that this is good and it does zip up nicely and it doesn't look too bulky. Now let's try it with the simpler version, the mermaid scale pouch. I put the same amount of markers in this one and it honestly is filled about the same. I think that maybe you could fit a couple more markers in the one with the extended panel than this one, but it fits a lot either way. So it's up to you which side method that you use. I think that the extended one just kind of gives it a different look. It might, like I said, be able to hold a little bit more, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below if you like the mermaid scale pouch better or the kind of Aztec tribal one. And also if you want to see more duct tape videos in the future, you can leave your requests below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know by clicking that like button below and also subscribe if you want to become part of the family. And I will put some videos over there that you can watch if you haven't seen them yet. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye.